Oh my god, it's literally getting like 10 frames a second. That's another problem. This is so bad. That was gonna crash, watch. Totally gonna crash. <sighs> Guess that uh, decides it. I can't play PC games. Not until I get a new computer. Well, I got a new PC. Not exactly true. I fixed my old PC. My old desktop I built like six or seven years ago. Uh, I reset it and it runs great now. That's what we're playing the game on. And then I have my laptop recording everything in the corner. So that's the one that's recording. And then the PC is doing the, the game. Hopefully with this setup, we should get some decent quality. Am I that lucky though? Am I really that lucky? Probably not. There's a good chance that the webcam uh, is screwed up and completely, like, not aligned. If that's the case, I'm sorry. Seems like most of you guys really liked watching me play Automotion and then driving the car I made in beamng.drive. So that is what we're going to do today. Instead of making the drift truck, we are going to be making the Turbo Miata, Miata Molly. I already got the game all loaded up, filtered to all the coupes in the convertibles, and I decided there's really only two good options for a Miata. The top, the top one is this, which kind of looks a little bit too modern for a Miata. It actually looks like an ND Miata, quite a bit. Uh, and then the other one is this, which kind of looks like a Miata, but also kind of looks like an S2000. But we're just gonna go ahead and send it and do this one. Let's get going. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more detailed in this video, but also try to do it quicker. I'm also gonna try to do it a little bit more realistic. It's not gonna be a carbon fiber uh, space frame. <laughs> it's it's gonna be realistic, so. Um, corrosion resistant steel. Although, not really. Treated steel is what a, a Miata is made out of. The other thing to note is I wanna make it a realistic weight. So if the car ends up weighing too much, then I might come back and make it out of aluminum. But uh, we're gonna do a monocoque galvanized steel, a front longitudinal engine, uh, double wishbone front suspension, double wishbone rear suspension, double wishbone master race here we are going to make this car with the new built motor that we're going to be putting in the car so it's going to be a nice motor it's not going to be stock inline four cast iron block and dual overhead cam four valve nope i clicked two i meant four valve and aluminum head capacity it is a 1.6 i looked this up earlier but i completely forgot so what is the bore in stroke of a, a b6 a 1.6 miata motor well, let's find out, kids. It's a 79 millimeter bore and an 83.5 millimeter stroke. However, I'm getting bigger pistons, so technically, 79.5 millimeter bore, which is something like three inches of bore and 3.2 inches of stroke. All right, that looks like about right. We're gonna add VVL, because I want to. I'm trying to make this thing make as much power as it possibly can. May not be as realistic as it's gonna be, but that's okay. Uh, I believe a crank of a Miata is a forged, forged crank. Um, we're doing lightweight forged rods, and we're doing forged pistons. Quality all the way up. We are doing a 12 to one compression ratio. Uh, I feel like that's just gonna knock a bunch in this game because there's not a high enough octane fuel. Also, look at how freaking untensioned these belts are. <laughs> it's like a, a round little thing. Never took the time to look that uh, properly at this. Looks pretty good. It actually looks very similar to a Miata motor. Just the oil cap's in the wrong place. Everything else is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Cam profile and VVL profile we will mess with once we're tuned in the car. Uh, VVT on both intake and X take. <laughs> Exhaust. Turbocharger, single turbo, single turbo, ball bearing. We're gonna do a, a race preset. Oh wow, 20 PSI boost, that's gonna knock a lot. But I'll adjust it later. A couple of you guys were saying that Drive has some issues with turbo cars from automation, and I think you're right. The other day I built a car in automation that was making like 40 pounds of boost. It made like 2,000 foot pounds of torque. But when I brought it into BeamNG, it only made like 15 pounds of boost. So I don't wanna, I wanna try to keep the boost low so it it, it works. Fuel system, injection, we're gonna do multi-point. A couple of you guys let me know that single point is actually something they had in the 80s. It's essentially like an electronic carburetor. So we don't want that, we want multi-point uh, and it is single. Race intake. I'm not gonna have that big of an intake manifold, but we're trying to make power here. 95 premium gas. See, E85, which is what we're gonna be running in the car, um, I think is like an equivalent to like 115 octane. 
So if we could run that in this game, then we could actually do 12.1 compression, compression ratio. Headers, exhaust. I'm gonna do like a four inch exhaust, not in real life, but four inch for now. No cats, straight through muffler and no second cat. Yikes, we're making 31 horsepower guys cause it's knocking like crazy. So we're gonna lower the boost to about 10 PSI. Still knocking. Let's lower the compression ratio. 11 to one, which is still pretty high. It's not knocking. It's making 247 horsepower and 200 foot pounds. But it hits peak boost at 5,000 RPMs, which is a no, no, big no, no. Let's get, let's get this turbo the right size. We're gonna make it as small as it possibly can, uh, as long as it doesn't drop off at the top end like it just started to do, so. Okay, so that's making peak boost at like 3,500 RPMs. That's pretty good. Only making 249 horsepower though. Well, let's up the boost a little bit. Eh, 12 PSI at max. Okay, 11.7 PSI, 261 horsepower. Let's give this a here real quick. Sounds like a tractor motor. I don't like the way it sounds at all. One thing that will help that is changing the cam and VVL profile. So we can make the VVL profile. Wow, no, that's actually making it worse. That's unfortunate. Uh, if we make a little bit bigger cams, it changes the power band a little bit. Let's advance the ignition timing a little bit. Ooh, buddy, yeah, that, that helped a little bit until it started knocking. Um, but if we do like 64 degrees advance, 267 horsepower. I want 300. RPM limit? Nah, it's pointless to make it rev higher than 8,000. What do I do? I need a bigger motor is what I need. Uh, exhaust? Maybe if we make that a little bit smaller, I might make a little more power. No, okay. If we want more power, we're gonna have to change it. We're gonna have to lower the compression ratio to like 10 to one, and then we're gonna have to make a bigger turbo. Okay, so that's a decent size. Now I just keep up on the boost till it starts knocking. Oh yeah, there we go, much better setup. Although, I don't want more than 18 PSI, so and that's when it started knocking, so let's do 17 PSI. Oh, we're so close to the 300 number. We're making 293. What else could we do? Will direct injection help? Not really, it helps the torque a little bit, so we'll we'll leave it. 250 foot-pounds, that's a pretty healthy amount of torque for this, this motor. Um, I'm gonna up the boost a little bit. 17.3, come on. Give me that number, give me it. Let me see it, let me see it, please. Oh, I have 300, yes. What happened to all the knock? It was knocking. Uh, it's probably because the intake is just getting, oh man, the compressor is tiny. Needs a bigger compressor. All right, turn down the boost. I'm not exactly good at making good turbo motors in this game yet. Naturally aspirated V8s, I can do that. Turbo motors, not too much. Intercooler needs to be a little bit bigger now. All right, definitely helped. Okay, okay, 22 PSI. If I make it a smaller AR ratio, it spools a little bit quicker and it's not hurting top end power. Oh, until then. All right, so it's AR ratio of 8.8, .8, or sorry, 0 0.8. 345 horsepower, 290 foot pounds of torque. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Let's look at that VVL profile again. Oh, that helps now, okay. Ooh, 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 it's going up, it's going up. Yes, I could rev it a little bit higher now too because the power doesn't drop off on the top end that much. Now I want 400. I'm spending too much time on this though. So let's just hear it one last time. Oh, it's got some cam. Oh yeah. It still doesn't sound great. Sounds much better at the top end and the idle sounds pretty dope. So I'm happy with that. 314 pound motor, $6,000 motor, which is kind of expensive. Um, kind of noisy, good throttle response, smoothness. Let's continue to build this thing. See, it looks like an S2000. Doesn't really look like a Miata. Kind of looks like a Miata from there, but as I did in the last one, I'm kind of just gonna uh, flow through this real quick. Cue the Wii music. It's not great. <sighs> the body just, it doesn't look enough like a Miata to make it super Miata-y. It 
kind of looks like a Miata. It's got the, you know, the turn signal intake, the indicators, the lip, and yeah, but then you're like, wait a second, is that an S2000? And then the, the pop-ups are kind of like, something about it, it just, it's not right. That's as good as it's going to get. Um, so, drivetrain, rear-wheel drive, it is going to be a manual, it's going to be a six-speed, top speed of about 180. Um, we'll adjust the spacing so we don't wheel spin too much in a little bit. And we're going to do a electric LSD. Uh, radial, semi-slicks, and oh, we can't even get 225s. I want to get some meat. So you click this and then widen that out a little bit. 235s. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Cool. Rim diameter, 15. Tire diameter, 22.6 is actually what a Miata is, I, I believe. Front brakes, uh, vented disc six piston with something like a, an 11 inch rotor. And then rear, we are doing vented disc four piston with a 10 inch rotor. Boom, looks pretty about realistic. Under tray, we'll do a semi clad under tray. No active wing, no cooling, no wing anything. Actually, you know what, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do downforce because that does actually help a little bit in the game of cornering and stuff so and the next stuff doesn't really matter two seats sport interior no entertainment quality up next power steering um electronic variable uh no aids i'll do abs just because that's convenient for driving uh basic 90s safety interior quality up springs we're doing active sports we're doing um uh, yeah semi-active dampers with a sport preset now look at our ride height that's way too high so we're gonna slam it that's a little bit too low so we're gonna do uh i want a little bit of wheel gap in the rear so like a four yeah four inch that's pretty good it kind of looks like a miata with like a molded it looks like a miata and a z3 had a weird baby that's what it is. 3,237 pounds. This is not a 350Z here. What else does it say? It says high high cost, that's fine. Hard dampers, um, good brake force, and wheel spin. Speaking of wheel spin, let's go to the drivetrain. Spacing. It says we have 87% wheel spin in first gear, 88, 81 in second gear. That's good, like that won't be bad. I'm gonna go back to the chassis material. Oh shit, that was a little too far. Wait, chassis. I'm gonna make it out of aluminum and chassis material is gonna be glued aluminum. We're doing this just to make it lighter. That is now 2,800 pounds. What? Come on. If I do carbon fiber, I know this isn't realistic, but I'm trying to get the weight to be realistic, all right? That's that's the important part. Um, if I do carbon fiber, then it is 2,500 pounds. Still a little heavy. Carbon fiber for the panels. That'd be re really, really cool. Carbon fiber, full carbon fiber Miata is now 2,300. Perfect. That's that's good. Okay, six gear manual, three hundred seventy-eight horsepower, seventy-five hundred RPMs. That's like exactly what we want, honestly, in real life and in the game. That took me forty-three minutes to build, a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's all right. I'm gonna be honest. I built a Miata uh, off camera before, or actually, that's not true. I built it on camera, and then the footage was corrupted, so um, I, I didn't post it. But I will say, I like this one more than the last one I made. The last one I put like a bunch of wings and stuff on it, and nah. This computer still can't run Beam and G uh, very well, but it can at least get steady frames on low settings. So, you know, that's okay. Where do we want to go first? Let's just start off by driving the car around town. Hey, 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 hey there she is, Molly. So that, that's the truck I made. Pretty dope truck. I also made a supercar, 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with the way it looks. The front is, the headlights are a little, little messed up, but from the back, it actually kind of looks like her. Kind of. Ooh. I hate how slow it rubs. It has like a 200 pound flywheel. It's ridiculous. Okay. It doesn't sound very good. Just the V8s from automation just sounds so much better. But you know, it's all right, it's all right. Oh God. It sounds like nice just putzing around town, but as soon as you get on it, it doesn't sound very good. Traction, all that traction. 
So much traction, that's nice. I mean, even in first gear, if I punch it down this road, traction, watch. And death, too. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Yep. Wow, that is a sturdy... I don't even know what that is. It's either a garbage can or a mail can, but that is... Oh, God damn it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See, in this game, it's only making like 13 PSI max. So it's definitely making less power in this game compared to automation, which is lame. All right, the question is, is can I find the drag strip from here? I'm gonna go drive around and try to find the drag strip because it's on this map. The map is huge. I just have to find the drag strip. Where is it? That's the question. I'm gonna go left because that's the only way it can go. Ooh, it's definitely down there. All right, go there, go there, yeah. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Pfft, can't even correct an oversteer. It's cool, you can see when it wheel hops. That's really neat. Oh yeah, this is a good road. I could have actually put traction control on this so I didn't die, that would have been nice. Cause this thing is sketchy to drive. Yeah, I'm probably getting about 20 frames a second right now, maybe 30, but that's better than five. <laughs> oh God, no! Well, let's take this moment to uh, appreciate the lack of drive shaft and differential. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. A little bit of understeer. A little bit of oversteer. Gosh. And power on. No, no, not yet. Oh, wait, this is back to here. Shoot. All right, that was like a little loop. Here's what we should do, all right? You know what? We're going to hop into our tow rig, imaginarily tow our car to the uh, drag strip. My tow rig is the, the truck I built. I just want to show you the truck I built. <laughs> Sounds better, it's a lot quieter. I didn't realize like the mufflers actually changed stuff. That's kind of cool. This thing's a, a beast at off-roading, but I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going anyway. So let's just find the drag strip. I think I can, here, I'm gonna turn my blinker on. Watch this. Haha, <laughs> left blinkers on, that's kind of cool. Also really pointless, blowing a red light. Oh, and it even turns off for you. That's so awesome. Did we find it? I think we found it, ladies and gents. Let's get off here. When in doubt, if you can't find the entrance, just make your own entrance. Ain't that right. Wow. That's a really strong fence. Maybe I can jump my way onto the racetrack. Yes, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Yeet! I did it! I did it! That worked! I'm on the racetrack now. Let's get my, my track car out. Heck yeah. Oh god, it just... It needs downforce in order to be not sketchy at high speeds. What if I quit and I go add traction control and stability control and downforce? I think that's a good idea. I'll be right back. We are back. Hopefully I made this better, not worse. That's cutting power so much. It's all right, I'm not dying. That's the important part. Oh, around that corner, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh God. You see, it was smart. It was like, oh, he's about to spin out and then it started cutting power. No, no, okay, go, go straight. Ah, no, 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 oh God. I didn't make it much better. I just kind of made it slower because now it saves itself. <laughs> oh God, sketchy. Nope. How do I not die? Oh, okay, I did. Yikes, I went into that wall fast. The easy thing to do in BMG is donuts. Hard to make a track car, hard to make a drift car, easy to make an off-road car. Off-road cars are fun. That's actually what we might do next. Look at that entire chassis just like dance like that. That's hilarious.
All right, staged. Ah, there we go, straight. And 119 at the end of the quarter. That's pretty decent. Okay. It hooks up so well on the strip. It's so good. Oh, that was a much better run. I like how it chirps tires at the end. Boom! Same trap speed, but much better. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, we could actually have fun with the car this time, which is awesome. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It still looks like an S2000. It's like an S2000 Miata Z3 thing. I don't know what it is, but it's supposed to be Molly. It's got a 1.6 turbo with a built motor, which is what I'm gonna have soon. Let me know what you want to see me do next. I could do an off-road car. I could do something crazy. I could recreate some other builds. Like, I kind of want to recreate Buse for Builds uh, V10 Datsun. That'd be cool. So I've actually raced it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a dislike. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do want to say thank you for 30,000 views on the last video. That's crazy. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see me play. And cool.